Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine. Welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. So as you can tell by the title, today we're trying today we're trying out Pat McGrath's new Bridgerton collection. So I picked up their Blush and Glow Trio and I also picked up the Mothership uh, Diamond of the First Water palette. It's an eyeshadow palette. First of all, can we talk about the packaging on these because it looks so beautiful it just reminds me of the show which i'm a huge fan i love the show bridgerton you guys like if you don't know so i'm gonna start with my brows today i'm using my benefit pencil what is this on my face what is this okay i'm gonna use my benefit pencil to comb out my brow hairs so if you're not familiar with the show bridgerton it basically is a shonda rhimes show on netflix and it goes through like the Regency era in England, I believe it's called. I looked it up. It said it was the Regency era in England because I wasn't sure what era it was. I know it was like back in the day, but it's not like true to the times because they do have black people in roles that they wouldn't have been in, I'm assuming, in that period. So anyways, it kind of gives me like Gossip Girl, but old English vibes, you know? It's about this one family and they're basically looking for love, like all the siblings. And it's really steamy and I really enjoy it. So they are coming out with season two. It was just season one. Um, so I watched season one last year, I believe. And they're coming out with season two. I'm excited. So season two premieres on March 25th, I believe. I just looked it up. I think that's what I saw. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting with the tinted... Uh, lip tinted color corrector just around my mouth and um a little bit under my eye i got a good amount of sleep last night but night before and the night before that i didn't so i'm gonna color correct under my eye make sure i just color correct under here make sure i don't have any like dark circles or anything like that i'm gonna blend this in i love the way this thing works like it just really takes away the darkness i really love it yeah, y'all, I did overtime the past couple days, so we got to color correct the dark circles, okay? I'm going to put some on this area. I don't know what the heck this is, but it just popped up out of nowhere. I think it's because I was wearing a mask. For foundation, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade 14 Neutral, and I'm keeping it British today, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's so iconic that Pat McGrath is coming out with this collection. I feel like if anyone had to do a collab with um, Netflix and Bridgerton, it had to be Pat McGrath because I feel like her brand, like her aesthetic, everything about it kind of flows well with the series and just like the era. It's London. It's just, it makes sense. I don't think I've ever purchased a Netflix makeup collab in the past. I think that's really cool. Especially for a show that I love, like, girl. That's one of those shows that I'm definitely going to be waiting for and watching the day it premieres. Like, I don't always watch things on the day that they come out. I can assure you that I will be watching on March 20, whatever I just said it was. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer. I'm going to put some in the high points of my face, basically, to highlight. And then I'm going to blend it in with the sponge. But I just want to put it on with this little brush first because... The way this concealer is, so I'm going to blend out my concealer with the same sponge. And I'm using one of those, like, what's it? Like, Velour sponges. I got this from Target, and it's really nice. I actually really like it. I have it linked below because I don't remember the brand. I think it's Juno. Yeah, I think it's Juno. That sounds right. Okay, and then for under my eye, I'm going to add some concealer there as well to just help that area match. Um, wait, did I just say under my eye? Under my brow. So I want that area to match under my eye. So I'm going to add a little bit of concealer so that it matches. I'm putting the concealer on my hand and then I'm going to take the rest and put under here. <laughs>
all right y'all so i'm gonna blend this out with my little morphe brush this is the morphe m173 and i usually just use this to blend on my concealer under my eye specifically I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury powder to set under my eye and also my eyelid so that way it can stay in place. Alright, so I just used my Charlotte Tilbury powder under my eye just to set everything. Basically, this is shade 3. I usually use this one to set if I wanted to if I want to use a um, pressed powder instead of a loose powder, which just varies by the day, basically. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bronzer with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer as well. And number four to bronze my face. Okay, this is the last step before I get to play around with these new products, and I am super excited because I love new fun makeup this is my first this is also my first purchase from Pat McGrath of 2022 shout out to Pat shout out to Pat this may be actually I think this is my first makeup purchase in 2022 I think it is I think it is we are starting out the year with some auntie Pat the best way to start the year so I'm just going to put this all over and down here as well just so, you know, get a little snatch. <laughs> so we're going to be using the eyeshadow palette first, which I am so excited for. This is from Shondalyn and Netflix. It's called Mothership Diamond of the First Water. Wait, yeah, First Water. So this is the inside of the palette. It has six colors. I'm just going to take this off. Okay, that was so satisfying. <laughs> they all look so pretty. So I'm gonna swatch them all just to show what they look like. So this is the first shade right here. Basically, it's like a nice champagne color. This one has a little B. So pretty. I'm gonna swatch that here. Really pretty, really nice. It's a really feminine, beautiful collection. So this is the next color here. Really, really pretty. It's like an iridescent purple, blue, pink color. This is a nice mauve shade right here. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Love. And this purplish mauve color also looks really good. Pomegranate's formula is always on point, so I'm not even surprised at the formula of these, but the colors just look so feminine and just really pretty, and they really capture the show and just the time really well. For today's look, I'm first gonna go in with this mauve shade right here, and I think it is called Love Match or Plum Regalia. I'm not sure like what direction the names are going in. Maybe I can tell by that blue shade. Yeah, this one is called Plum Regalia. I know because this is called Regency Blue, so I know it has to be this one over here. Anyways, we're gonna take this and just add it to my crease and start blending it in. It's a pretty deep shade, but I think it's gonna be really nice and sexy and sultry. This show is really sexy. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's like really like, um, what's the word? What is, it's spicy, it is juicy, it's, you know, it's all the things, okay? It's steamy. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. It's a very steamy show. So be prepared. <laughs> Although this palette is not your typical everyday palette, I feel like it's something that I can see myself using quite often. It's very feminine, I really love the shades. So for my um, eyelid, I think I'm going to, ooh, I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna start with this shade right here for my eyelid. This one is called Love Match. I'm gonna start in the outer corner right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, y'all, looks so nice, I love. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this shade right here next. This is the middle shade, it's called Duchess Divinity. 
right here that just affinity we're gonna go in with this one and it's more of a purplish like shimmer so I'm gonna put that right here <laughs> I love it y'all like I really love this it's just so beautiful it definitely feels like Bridgerton-ish you know so I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara and lashes to my top lashes I'm not gonna do a wing liner because I feel like it's gonna take away from the eyeshadow I, I definitely I want the eyeshadow to really stand out so I'm gonna do mascara and lashes I'm also gonna do more natural lashes. It's gonna make the eyeshadow just stand out on its own and not distract too much from the eyeshadow. I'm here for it. Y'all see how amazing this Rare Beauty Mascara is? Like it's making my lashes look really like full on its own. I'm gonna take some more of the Plum Regalia. I'm gonna put that on my lower lashes, but first I am at first I'm gonna do a black liner just to give it some smoke. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier's tuxedo. Then I'm gonna take that same color and just smoke it out. Pomegranate does have a really, really nice black eyeliner, but I left the cover off of mine and it dried out, so that's unfortunate. But she has a really, really amazing eyeliner, like a black pencil one. It's so good. I'm going to take the lightest shade and pop a little bit of that right in the center then we're gonna go into the cheek palette I don't know which one I'm more excited about eyeshadows or the cheeks because the cheek palette looks so pretty this is what it looks like so pretty it has a highlighter um, and two blushes and they all look amazing so again I'm gonna swatch them for you guys this is the blush it's a nice rose pinky shade so pretty not ashy at all this is a medium um blush it's lighter but it's still not ashy it's still gonna show up and look really pretty and then this is the highlighter it's like a golden it's like a light it's like a champagne gold so pretty so so pretty so pretty i think everything looks they all look so good i do want to show you guys both of the blushes so i'm gonna start with the middle shade it's called nymphette and i'm gonna oops, I'm gonna apply that on my cheek so this is nymphette the blush nymphette is very subtle but it still looks really pretty and i really like it i think it actually complements this eye look really well so i'm also going to show you guys this shade which is called this is called venus nectar i believe so we're going to apply the Ooh, this is pretty this is a really nice blush and this definitely complements my eye mm, i love this one I'm gonna do this one on this side as well. I'm Jasmine from London. <laughs> and then for the highlighter, I am gonna take a little Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna just pop a little bit on my cheeks. All right, so I did lashes. For lipstick, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury. I've been obsessed with this color. It's so pretty. Then we're gonna do this gloss from Lawless. This is Forget the Filler in Velour. All right, y'all, this is the finished look, and I must say it is very feminine, very Bridgerton-esque. 
<laughs> yes, I'm making up words, okay? But I really love it. I think the eyeshadow palette is so beautiful. I think the colors look so feminine. I think the colors represent the show really well. I love the blush um, cheek palette. It's so pretty. I love everything that I picked up for this collection. She does have a couple other items. I didn't feel like they would go well in my routine, so I didn't get them. They're both cheek products, and I believe they're like highlighters. I just felt like they weren't products that I would personally use, but I do love the eyeshadow palette, and I definitely love the cheek palette as well. If you watch Bridgerton, comment down below and let me know. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!